In this brief section, the textbook is doing something really important. They're linking the avant-garde movement realism to the, the fact of revolution, the fact that revolution was still ongoing in Paris when you have tremendous violence, social unrest, overcrowding, poverty. Imagine what it was like to live in France when in about 20 years you lived through multiple revolutions that ultimately ended in the suspension of representational government, the failure of the revolution to bear fruit. Particularly traumatic for the people of France was the June 1848 revolution in which working class people had risen up in Paris, barricaded themselves in the streets, and been slaughtered by the soldiers of their own country. This had been a major uprising. They were rebelling against the leaders of the bourgeois leaders of the newly formed Second Republic. They were demanding better working conditions and a redistribution of property. The army massacred these people within three days. And for the people who lived in Paris, this was an incredible trauma to have your fellow city dwellers murdered so quickly in the streets of Paris. This was essentially a brief civil war. It's traumatic end in bloodshed smashed the hope that had arisen for class equality and demonstrated the ruthlessness of the Second Republic. So when Marilyn Stockstead and Michael Cothran talk about the revolution of 1848, have that painting in your mind of the bloodshed on the streets of Paris, because this is really a catalyst for the social and political, excuse me, for the intellectual movement known as realism. That blood on the cobblestone streets is what is urging these writers and artists to tell the more brutal truths of life for all people, poor as well as privileged.